All right, welcome back everyone. So of course, Bethesda's press conference just wrapped up and we got two titles of significance, right? There was some stuff sprinkled in, Dishonored 2 story DLC, um, you know, we got Skyrim on the Switch, we got some more news, but uh, the two big things for me, of course, were The Evil Within 2 and what we are going to talk about now, which is Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Um, again, I did a reaction to it. We'll talk about it more at the end, but let's go ahead and take a look. Survival horror. Apparently it sold wow. really well. Friday, October or satisfactory, the so they were willing to really will be giving us all give uh, Tango another shot. We hope you've enjoyed your time in Bethesda land. And as we near the end of our tour, we leave you with one more coming up. Oh, here we go. Give me that Wolfenstein, baby. Let's go. Here you go, Peggy. There's everything your mother ordered and a ration card. And here's a Lockridge Necker just for you. Wow. Gee, thanks, Mr. Wilson. Oh, the audio sync again. Get you out. Get it off. Hang on, let me get you out of here. Hang on, buddy. Just hang on. Please go. Well, there we go. Wolfenstein official. Good girl, Lisa. Nazi Robo Dog. It's just weird how they're presenting this. I love it. No, so Diesel. odd. No, that's not Diesel. Diesel. Bad girl. Good nutrition. It's a matter of state security. Man, they have some creative people over there in, at marketing. Welcome back to round three. Now is where it gets really exciting on America's number one game show. German! Okay, hands on your buzzer. German or else. The Honorable U.S. Exercise Self-Control. What if the Nazis won World War II? That's a good trailer, man. I like it a lot. There he is. He's got more hair. The old and the weak are doomed. Looks the same, man. Looks exactly the same as I remember it. Still got his scars. Having twins. Uh, Frau Engel. Uh, she's been hunting for you. She's been moving heaven and earth, and today she found you. Who is she? You think. Oh, okay. William Joseph Blaskovich. Monsters did this. It's a prequel. Hello. Come on, Peter. Let's go. I love this Come idea, on, man. Robots. Oh. Peter, sure. Danke. You one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh. I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake. This is fascinating, man. Fireman, I recognize your face. 
very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers. Please. Just who the fuck are you? Oh, boy? this is so sick. Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What do you say? You say you're a Nazi? Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn Nazi. Hey! Uh, uh, uh. Now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass. Man, <laughs> I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? Oh, shit! Relax, man. It's just a death. Oh, it's got a sick sense of humor. For the longest time, I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance. Leader. Named. Horton. This you know isn't a prequel, on, obviously. I'm just... Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down. I just like saying Billy shit sometimes. Drink up. <laughs> oh, God damn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Or is it? Uh, the world has sank into the crap. Now I'm confused. Now drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We stood up against the imperialist war machine of the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their covers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm going to raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. Okay. There we go. That looks like all one sequence. He looks like he's wearing still the same thing. Okay, there we go. So. Wow. <laughs> the new Colossus. Oh my god, we're getting them both. October. Are we getting two Bethesda games in October? Is he on drugs? Is that why? It's fantastic, fantastic. So weird, the characters are so lovable. The performances are really great. Just showed us more of that. That is a great, great title. I'm looking forward to that. The thing that Machine Games was working on is fucking bananas. So now you know what I mean by fucking bananas. A lady pregnant with twins stabbing a Nazi while a guy is dropping acid is fucking bananas. Awesome. We can't wait to more show uh, to show you. All right, so obviously that trailer, and I'm gonna study this trailer for a long time, and it's because it's not only just a trailer; it's like 
it's it's showcasing live action stuff and then straight to gameplay story cutscenes um then back to gameplay uh then then just crazy interactions between characters uh personalities um funny moments i mean overall that trailer had a lot of stuff to grab onto as far as gameplay goes, as far as story goes, as far as characters go, what their personalities will be like. It was a robust reveal, um, the best you could possibly do without showing off a full-on gameplay demo. Um, I think there goes gameplay demo and what they just showed uh, for the Wolfenstein to the New Colossus. And of course, what gravitated me towards Wolfenstein was, uh, was the story the fact that the characters were so intriguing and the fact that there was a cast, like a group of people that all had different personalities, that all kind of went by their own way, but at the same time had a great relationship with the people there. And sometimes they would get in fights and sometimes they wouldn't. Sometimes they would make love and sometimes, you know, it's just, it seemed like a great, you know, group of characters. And, and it seems like this one is just transitioning to that again and um, I couldn't be more excited, of course. Um, you know, the gunplay is fantastic in those games. It, it feels really, really, really tight. Um, you know, if you can count on Bethesda to do anything right, it's first-person shooters. But um, but I really, really do think that there's something special with this game as far as how weird it is, as far as how comical and funny it is, and the interactions between the voice actors and the characters in the, in the game. I just think it's, I think we might be really, really surprised by this overall. And I think I wouldn't be surprised personally if it's actually better than the first game. And the first game was fantastic. So um, every little bit that I saw in that trailer gameplay, whatever quasi demo, whatever you want to call, was um, gave me so much confidence that they will actually improve upon what they did the first game. So much confidence. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think about Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. And of course, if you hate me, you know what to do. If you like me, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.